Hello there everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Green Mahim and today I am bringing you the third episode of Countdown to Ultimate's Melee segment, which I believe is episode 14 of the entire series. I really need to go and check that because I keep getting confused about this. <laughs> In the last episode, I played through Classic Adventure and All-Star with Donkey Kong and I got extremely angry. And I also got subjected to something very cursed while I was editing it, so uh, that sucked. And today, I'm not expecting things to be any better, because now I have to go through with Link, and I have no coins for continues or anything, so uh, if I fail, I'm just going to have to turn the difficulty down until I can actually beat it, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. For now, I'm going to do hard classic, normal adventure, and easy all-star. When I have the coins for continues again, I may go back to normal All-Star, but for now, that's just how it's going to be, because I can't be bothered to keep going for All-Star. It's obvious that I can beat it, because I have before, but I don't really want to keep making myself angry over it when you've already seen me do it once, so whatever. If you guys do enjoy this video, please leave a like rating, show your support for the series, and let's go. I also want to point out that I do have my fan on for this episode. I'm pretty much testing. My friends have told me that... Uh, oh, my... Audio is a bit loud in my headset, actually. My friends have told me that they don't hear my fan through the mic when I'm talking to them. And uh, when I test recorded, I didn't hear the fan through the mic in the recording either. So I'm just seeing if... Uh, I'm, I'm seeing if it'll actually come out in the video. If it does at any point, I apologize. But it shouldn't, because I'm not exactly near my fan. But it's really hot around here right now. And I feel like I need it on, because... Uh, when I was recording the DK episode yesterday, I, I, I only really got one episode done because I got angry, but it was very hot as well. I do have water to keep me hydrated, but I, I feel like I'm going to need the, the cool air as well to help me. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a second episode today otherwise. And uh, I kind of, as it is, I've already missed a day because of how long it's taken the Donkey Kong episode to go up. So, I believe at the time you're seeing this, uh, let's see, if there was 155 days for the Mario episode, then by the time you see the Donkey Kong episode, there should be 153, I think? Which means this should be for 152 or 151. I'm not entirely certain. I'm hoping it's 152, because I want to try and get this as close to daily as possible, but I don't know. We'll see. <gasps> was that the boomerang? Was that Bowser? Was that the home run bat? I don't know what did it, but that was hype. Now let's do break the targets. I've already had to do this one to unlock Mr. Game and Watch, and this one was actually pretty easy, so. This shouldn't be so bad. Oh. Not what I was trying to do. Actually, do, do, do I need a boomerang for that? No, arrow. There we go. It's the arrow. Yeah, this one's real simple. There we go. Nice and easy. Don't gotta worry about that ever again. Donkey Kong. So I need a question of the day, huh? Okay. So, um... Let's see. Actually, yeah, I've got a good one. So recently... As, as we're all aware, Smash Bros. Ultimate was revealed and we saw Zelda had a new design for it. Now, while the Direct did say that it was a link between World Zelda, it turns out, thanks to Source Gaming uh, doing some research on that... Well, actually, I suppose it wasn't thanks to them we found... It's thanks to them I know, but it's not thanks to them that everyone else knows, I guess. So people knew that anyway. But, yeah, that aside... Um, it turns out that Zelda's design isn't from Breath of the Wild, uh, not Breath of the Wild, my bad. It's not from A Link Between Worlds, but actually A Link from the Past. It's like, A Link Between Worlds Zelda is basically just like a minorly different Link to the Past update any, uh, design update anyway. But it turns out Sakurai uh, said in the Japanese version of the Direct, or he said himself that it was the A Link to the Past Zelda. But apparently, A Link Between Worlds is called A Link to the Past 2 in Japan. So there, there seems to have been some like mistranslation going on there, and like the you know, 
the treehouse or whoever translated it thought that it was uh, a link between world zelda because of that minor confusion there so it's a link to the past zelda just to clear that up but back to the point of the question what is your favorite zelda design that's been in smash we've seen ocarina of time zelda in a melee we've seen twilight princess zelda in um what is it in brawl and smash for wii u and 3ds and now we've seen a link to the past zelda in smash ultimate which one of those zeldas is your favorite design for her Sheik doesn't count i'm speaking strictly about zelda here personally it may seem basic considering she's the new one but i think it's also the obvious answer judging by how a lot of people have reacted oh my god ganondorf why didn't you stop him from getting that but my answer is the Link to the Past Zelda. I'm going to be honest, I've never played the Link to the Past or a Link Between Worlds despite owning both games. So, I feel like it's a bit unfair for me to say that. But that one is easily the cutest one and she's had more personality than either of the other two Zeldas did in like her facial expressions and stuff. So, you know, I love it. I, I, don't, I don't really care for Ocarina of Time Zelda whatsoever because I'm not exactly a fan of Ocarina to begin with. I like Twilight Princess Zelda, but she's pretty bland. I, I like her design, but as a character, she's pretty boring. But uh, A Link to the Past Zelda, she has both. She's got, char she's got charisma and she's got a cute design. So she's probably my favorite Zelda that's appeared in Smash. Part of me hoping that Sakurai revisits that Toon Zelda idea that got uh, found in like the, the, file, the files for Brawl. So we can get like a Toon Zelda, Toon Sheik sort of idea again. Maybe we'll see Tetra and Smash through that or something. I don't know. Because seeing Tetra and Smash would be pretty cool. But yeah, I, I, th I think the Ultimate Zelda is my favorite one. So you guys let me know. I'm sure you're all going to say the same thing. But you tell me. Do you like Melee Zelda? Do you like Brawl and Smash 4 Zelda? Or do you like Ultimate Zelda? Let me know in the comments below. Alright, so we're on hard, so these guys are going to take a while to die. Hopefully I don't lose two stocks, because uh, the, the Falcon in a... Uh, I am not... I'm not Donkey Kong anymore, so I'm hopefully this won't... Fuck. I was, I was... I figured that would be a bomb. I was hoping at least one of them would get hit by it too. But I had a bit of a problem with uh, Captain Falcon in Adventure Mode when I was playing as Donkey Kong. Now, I'm not Donkey Kong anymore. I'm not playing as a heavyweight, so it's, I shouldn't be getting wrecked as badly. But I'm still expecting to lose at least two stocks here. Because I've not killed a single one yet. And I'm almost dead again. Alright, there we go. Yeah, Captain Falcon seems pretty tough to fight against. When uh, you're on a high difficulty. Well, I thought those cars would kill me, to be honest. I'm surprised it didn't. I'm not sure how I should... That killed me, okay. I'm not sure how I should kill these guys. Should I just spam up? Smash it? I just spam down there? I don't know what to do. Down there seems like a good idea. Because what are they really going to do? I probably go stick off of them. And there's not really much they can do about it. Oh my god. Get off me. <gasps> oh my god. Did that just happen? I just got spiked by up tilt in melee. Well, I didn't get spiked, but it sent me downwards. I, I lost my jump, so I couldn't even recover from that. That's just unfortunate. Bear in mind that if I get a game over, I'll have to do classic all over again. Which, uh, honestly, oh fucking hell. This doesn't even affect them. It only affects me. They can still see me just fine. I can't see shit. I just died because of that. Wow. Fuck that. My own Pokemon just got me killed. Oh, piss off. But yeah, if I, if I die at any point, like when I'm on hard or normal difficulty for any of these modes. I'm just going to go down the difficulty if I can't continue. Because I just want to be done with these. I, I don't really want them to drag out because uh, I, I played like shit, you know. Alright, that's him gone. Oh my god. 
There's just one left. I'm not dying to this. There we go. I almost lost four stocks to that one team match. That's terrible. Race to the finish. Let's see. Can I do it with Link? I did it with Mario. I didn't do it with Donkey Kong, although I almost did it. Link runs pretty slow, so I'm not expecting to do it, but it'd be nice if I could. Oh, fuck. Oh, that may have just cost me, actually. Uh, we'll see, I guess. i got to make it to the end of this before 10 seconds, otherwise I'm definitely not doing it. Oh, no! No! Oh, fuck, yeah, that's, that's definitely screwed me over. There's no way. There's no way. No, I was meant to dash. No. Oh, damn it. Such scrubby mistakes. I could have done that. I think that one up B I did didn't even matter in the end. I think it was the fact I got hit by the lava that did it. Oh, I just shot them straight onto the ledge. Okay. Oh, there's just no fucking way. Bro. What kind of loss was that? Well, at least I got—I can continue, so I could still do this. But damn, that's just a little bit annoying. My hook shot wasn't able to send them anywhere, and they've got two jabs, which they'll just spam. So I take even more damage from their fucking melee computer bullshit. Oh, I rolled right into that one. Huh? Wait, what the fuck? No, no, this game sucks, man. You saw that. There's just no way. I have complained a lot throughout this series, but that's easily the dumbest thing that's happened to me. On, on, I swear on fucking just about anything ever. How the hell does that make sense? I was next to the ledge, facing the ledge. No one was on the ledge. I didn't get hit. How did I not grab it? There's just no way. God, this game is a broken piece of mess. I'm glad that Sakurai delays Smash games now to get them done. Holy crap. If not delaying them gives us shit like this, ew, get me out. And the shield got me killed because it was meant to be a grab. Oh. They're at 200% and I still can't kill them. Get out of here. Why does this F-Smash send you up? God, that was stupid. Well, I don't get to fight Crazy Hand now, but... I suppose that's for the better, because I'm not trying to get even more frustrated than it's already making me again. i got to try and record two to three melee videos a day. And I'm only getting through one just because I have pissed off melees making me. Right, no. Come on, come on. I never understood why Link's back air and nair are like kicks, because he doesn't even kick or anything in, Oc in Ocarina, which is where most of his movesets based from. Oh my god, I definitely dodged there, fuck that. Not that it even mattered in the end, but I hate it when my controller doesn't listen to me. And I hate it when it does and I still die. That's even worse. Alright, there we go. Master Hand's gone. Good riddance. Now it's adventure mode. That shouldn't be so bad. Ugh. There's only like one, maybe two characters I really don't want to do bad with in this series. The rest I sort of expect to do bad with, so... I'm not particularly... Like, I'll still get angry if I suck, because that's just how I get when it comes to Smash, but... At the end of the day, I kind of expect to be bad with Link, because he's bad and I don't exactly use him, except as like a casual play sort of thing. 
so you know I'm not expecting any major league amazing plays or anything so that's classic du, 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 du. Cool. Next is adventure mode. Let's do it. Gonna drop to normal. I hate that it resets my difficulties like that. Don't even need to set my name, but doing it anyway. Because if I do that, then people can't steal my footage. Haha. -ha. Well, I mean, they can, but they'll know it's mine because I've got my name there, so haha. -ha. I didn't even think about that till just now, and now I'm glad I've been doing that. Ha ha. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, I've already showed everything there is to show, basically, with uh, Adventure Mode, I'm pretty sure. I may have forgotten one or two things I've not done yet, but I'm pretty sure I've done everything, at least that I'm aware of. So, like, you know, with this level, there's no differences. It's just if you finish it with a... Uh, with when the second on the timer is ends of a two, you fight Luigi. If you end it with any other second, you fight Mario. That's basically all there is at this level. Oh wow, I can even kill them with the aerial spin attack? That's weird. Get out of it. Go. Alright, let's see who I fight against. I'm not gonna specifically aim to get Luigi. I'm just gonna fight whoever I go against. Oh, there's a. I keep finding this trophy. I I've seen that trophy like 10 times, I swear. Of all the 700 or whatever trophies in this game, and I found that one so many times. Alright, we're fighting Mario. I've been considering it. No. No, fuck. No, run away. She can't get me now. I've been considering doing a Let's Play of Wind Waker HD at some point, though, because that's my favorite Zelda game, aside from Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors is my favorite. But of, like, the main series Zelda games, my favorite is Wind Waker. I just love everything about it. So I've been... Uh, that probably won't happen for a long time, but I definitely want to do that as a Let's Play at some point. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, feel free to let me know. Oh my god, I'm getting comboed into fucking downbeat. How? Is that a thing with Luigi? In like Smash 4? Can you down throw into downbeat? Is that a combo? I wouldn't be surprised. Downbeat combos into just about everything. Oh, what are you doing over there? What are they doing over there? That was pretty stupid. They pretty much let me kill them, though. <laughs> Congo jungle. Nothing different about this, as I've already said. Don't really have anything to say. You know, I'm noticing that the AI just keeps trying to walk into me, so I could just keep spin attacking them until they die. That probably won't work against the giant enemies, like Donkey, like the Donkey Kong I'm about to fight, but against other enemies it seems to work at least. Aw, oh, Claptrap got him, he's so big. Oh wow, it does work! Yeah, never mind. Cool. I'll take that. Alright, you know, I've, I'm feeling the bottom right this time. I've not been down there at all yet since I started this, so let's go down there and see what's on offer in this area, shall we? I don't actually know what this area is based on. It seems like the Goron village, judging by all, all the walls and stuff, but I don't know. Well, that was convenient. Yeah, so I guess it, it, this must be the Dongo's Cavern or something then. Although it seems weird considering there's Octorox around here, but then there's not exactly Redents either in the Goron place. Oh, that's a Master Sword, so I don't want to go there. But I have to go there, so let me... Oh, Weezing Trophy. Yeah, yeah I got it. I can get over this, yeah. 
don't want to go into the like likes because uh, they won't steal money, but they'll still damage me, and I don't like that. Wait, actually, is there anything here? No. Okay. Let's see. Triforce? Nope. Is there any... Whoa! Oh, the light light got me. Get off. Alright, let's see. Triforce, you over here? No. Oh. Oh, I didn't fight him. Wow, I guess the Master Sword has to be on screen in order to actually fight the Link. That's uh, interesting, I guess. I never knew that. So it's either this or bottom left. It's this one. Cool. Zelda's down! Yas! So I gotta admit, I was get I think I mentioned it in the last countdown to ultimate episode, but I don't remember. Wow, I cannot believe that I didn't damage her at all. Phantom hits are stupid. But anyway. Um So I was supposed to be going on a holiday. That I didn't really want to go on but after talking about it a bit today it turns out I'm not going on it now I wasn't sure whether to go originally but I just because of my stomach and uh, like this series I feel like it's better for me to just stay at home so I've done a bit of talking with uh, the family about that and it seems like I'm staying now so uh, I can keep the schedule going for this series and suffer some more yay I was getting a bit stressed about it, to be honest. Imagine that, getting stressed out over going on a holiday. But, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So that's a load off my back, which is nice. I'm happy about that. Man, I really have nothing to say today. I'm trying to come up with things to, to, to say, so I don't have to keep cutting the episode. But, I, I just don't know what else to say. There's really not much to say. Like, I feel like the fact that I'm making these episodes so, so long is making it harder for me to s come up with things to talk about. But I kind of need to make these episodes as long as they are, otherwise I'm not going to get all of- I'm not going to get through all of the games. I mean, I could just not play through Classic Adventure and All-Star with every character like I'm planning on doing, but... You know, I've already mentioned it in previous episodes, I kind of want to do that so people can, like, if they don't want to watch the entire series which defeats the point of the series, really, considering it's supposed to be like a daily countdown thing. But, you know, if people don't want to do that, they can just watch the characters they want to watch. So, like, if I don't play as the characters they want to watch, and I feel like, you know, I'm alienating people from what they would want to see, you know? Now that I'm exactly the best melee player anyway, I'm sure you could get better classic runs and whatnot that I'm giving you, but hey... You know, seeing Wispy actually reminds me. Uh, my one of my friends that's in my Discord server, uh, Maximum Effort G. Uh, I'll leave a plug to his YouTube channel in the description if you want to check him out. He actually he's he's doing a whole bunch of let's plays over the like because he wants to start getting his, uh, his channel going like like I sort of have, and uh, it, he started the Smash Bros. 64 let's play. Funnily enough, right after I did mine, huh? Cool. I'm calling you out, Max. I see what you're doing. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, um, yeah, he started a Smash 64 Let's Play, but, like, the, the, the ROM seems, to, or the emulator seems to be weird for the him. I'm not, seems to be weird for the him. Wow. Seems to be weird for him. I'm not sure which it is, but I think it's an emulator from what I heard. But, um, yeah, it's basically made it so that certain textures don't load properly. So, like, the only part of Wispy that actually loads is his face. The entire tree is just not there, which is pretty funny. Um, on top of that, the targets in Target Test are extremely small. Oh, fuck. I was trying to uh, grab him so that he'd get killed by Electro, but all I did was pull him away from it. Damn. I suck at this game. At least he's dead now. But yeah, it's just funny seeing Wispy, like, all face, no tree. Is this Fox? Keep it together. Yeah. Things are about to get ugly. It's Fox. I guess we're fighting Falco again. All right, let's do it. Nice General Pepper in the background there. All 
All right. See, playing this game reminded me. I, I was considering doing like a Let's Plays of the Star Fox series at some point as well. But the thing is, I don't know how I do Zero because Zero really requires you to have the gamepad, like in the video, because it's so integral to the gameplay. But I don't have a capture device for the gamepad or anything, and I don't even know if there is a trustworthy one yet for that. So, you know, I, the only way I could really record it is if I used my phone, but I don't have the memory on my phone for that to work. Fuck, I actually just died to Paragon 2, that's crazy. Like, because I can set my phone up to do it, but it could only really record like a few minutes at most, because I just don't have the memory. I'd need to get a proper video camera if I was really going to do something like that. Or better yet, yeah, a capture card. Like I said, like a specific or capture device specifically for the gamepad. Otherwise, I couldn't do that one. I mean, I'm sure people wouldn't be too interested in Zero anyway. But, I, I don't know. I just feel like it'd be fun to let's play Adventures, Assault, and maybe 64. I don't particularly care for 64, to be honest. I'm not as big on it as other people are. Almost 64 games for that matter, but you know, assault and adventures would be pretty fun to do, I think. So I might. I did consider getting footage of adventures at one point anyway when I was doing my top 10 because Crystal was in it, but uh, you know, after I had problems editing the Joker and Anna segments of my video, I just said fuck it to that. So that never ended up happening, but. You know, at one point, I guess uh, it almost happened. That was actually why I did a DMC3 Let's Play as well, because I was testing my capture card to see if I could record footage for that video. Because Dante was in it. But uh, I ended up just uploading the entire Let's Play and then deleting all of my footage after I did that, because I kind of forgot why I got the footage to begin with. <laughs> so that was a thing, I guess, but it didn't matter in the end anyway. Because uh, obviously I couldn't exactly use the footage since it was making Camtasia lag like crap for some reason. Sadly. Can I make it to the end without the cars hitting me again? Come on, Link. Yeah! We did it. I can never tell what position my mic has to be in before it starts getting too quiet. Because I noticed... I've noticed in a whole bunch of videos that there are times it gets quieter, so I have to make my voice louder. Like, I have to actually turn up the volume of my voice to make me audible. Otherwise, it just sounds really weird in the video. And I feel like I've probably done that again with this one, but I don't know how to tell when it happens, you know? Because I, I don't really notice when the, like, uh, the headset slips down my neck until it's too late. Well, it wasn't a bomb, but it still killed him, so that went according to plan, even if I did die. Don't really like the idea of only having two lives before Giga Bowser, but hopefully I don't lose any more. Wow, yeah, ups. Multi-hit moves in this game are some pure garbage. That didn't connect at all. Good lord. Icicle Mountain. Can't say I'm particularly looking forward to this level with Link, but... Hopefully it won't go so bad. I gotta be careful about going too high, because if an enemy hits you when you're too high, they can actually kill you. I don't... I'm not sure if you can kill yourself by going too high on this level, but the enemies can. So it's, it's pretty dangerous going too high up off at the top of the screen. Not to mention you take percent for being there. I mean, not much, but still, it happens, so... You want to try not to go too high, I guess. I should really take heed of that advice before I get myself killed. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, come on, come on. Okay. Come on, come on. Come to think of it, I haven't checked the Smash blog in a couple of days. I should do that. I mean, if there was anything particularly important on there, I probably would have heard about it, but... I actually, th I think it was in Japan time I heard this. I can't remember where I heard it, but I heard someone bring up the idea that they'll reveal Echo Fighters through uh, through the Smash Blog instead of their own trailers. I'm not sure about that. I, I, it sounds like a reasonable idea, but at the same time, they're new characters. I mean, they're not new play styles, but they're still new characters. 
Are you fucking serious? Oh, that's so stupid. Come on. That was such a pathetic hit, too. Man. Well, I guess I'm getting a game over on Adventure, too. I should have the coins to use a continue, but still, that sucks. Oh, they're all, they're all female wireframes. Interesting. Now I got a male one. I don't think I've ever seen this fight start with wireframes all of the same gender. Can they even be considered different genders? I mean, I know they're, they're like title male and female wireframe, but why do wireframes even have genders? Do they reproduce? Is there a reason that they Oh. Cute. Okay. Wasn't expecting to go out like that, but I was gonna die anyway, so whatever. I hate that I keep getting hit or like that. I just want to spin attack them off, and I keep, I keep getting hit into the air, so I keep end up doing aerial ones and missing out on a bunch of kills. Come on, die! I have a pizza downstairs. Once I finish all Star Wars Link, I'm gonna go eat that. I think. I've been putting it off because eating right when I wake up isn't normally a good idea for me. Because it tends to make my stomach hurt. But I've been up a few hours now, so I think I can go eat it. Even though my stomach still hurts a little bit now, but that might just be because I'm hungry. Oh, I thought the chance of Luigi appearing was like, you know, not guaranteed on a certain difficulty. But I guess it is, because he's just been appearing every time. Okay. Interesting. Link's hook shot, or Link's back throw is too shit to kill people. Will, will, will forward throw do it? Probably not. His throws just seem like dick in this game. Then again, Link as a whole seems like dick in this game. I remember when my dad would actually play melee with me as a kid and he mained Link. It was actually thanks to him that I learned how to up B. It was kind of weird. My dad d doesn't even know how to up B and smash anymore. He doesn't know it's a recovery move. Every time he actually plays the game once in a fucking century, I have to tell him how to do it and what the purpose of it is. But as a kid, he always used to do it with Link. Pro probably just because he didn't know how to play the game and he was spamming the B moves like, you know, any casual player does. But if it wasn't for him doing it, I never would have learned that up B was a recovery move. Well, actually, I probably would have learned, but it was because of him I first learned about it. So I, act I actually kind of owe him for that. <laughs> In a way. If he ever wants to get good at Smash Ultimate, I'll be sure to teach him. There, yeah, that's how I'll repay him. But I guess thanks, Dad, for teaching me how to play the game. Kind of. Even though you probably had no idea what you were doing. Get out of it. Well, there's a go. Pathetic. I'm gonna regret saying that now that I've got to fight Giga Bowser, but that was pathetic. Oh my god. I was trying to avoid that. Ugh. Oh my lord. Help me. Oh, he just threw me. He just threw me. Alright, come on. No! I was hoping he'd hit and save me, but I guess not. Well. I can't spike him or anything either, so I just have to completely outpower him if I'm going to kill him. Or hit him with a strong enough hit, not, out not outpower him. I don't know why I said outpower him. <gasps> oh! Go, Chansey! You piece of shit, do something! I always forget that eggs can heal. Oh, and he can just reflect my my projectiles with his upbeat. You learn something new every day. Crap. Oh, I'm dead. I was trying to spin attack him on the ground, but I used it too early. Yeah, fuck you, get out. 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 
it worked! Not even Giga Bowser can uh, get past the spin attack spam technique. Actually, isn't that cool? Isn't that move literally in Wind Waker just called the Hurricane Spin? <laughs> now that I think about it. Well, I guess we're done with adventure. That is a cute image. I like that. I like that a lot. Now we're just going on to the dreaded All Star difficulty. Let's do it. I am not ready for this. Ugh, oh, starting with Falco at least. I don't like playing on this stage, but it's good to have Falco out of the way. I'd rather fight him on his own than against other characters. So I Wow, thanks. So I should really count my blessings here. There we go, Falco's gone. Can I have Fox next? That'd be great. Probably not, but it'd be nice. Ice climbers. Okay, that's good enough. You're the same color as the bastards that killed me on uh, adventure mode. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. Oh, oh, I want that. I want that. Please be good. Blastoise, you might help me. Yeah, you didn't really help me, Blastoise. There we go. Da 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 da. Ganondorf. Yeah. Okay, I feel bad about not getting in the teleporter there, but... Okay, why do I fight Ganondorf on Brinstar Depths, hello? There's like two Zelda stages. Come on. What, what is this? I know it's fitting for Ganon, considering that he's like a dark mage, and this is like a, an area filled with lava and all, but still. It's not even a Zelda stage, like, bruh. I hope Ganon's castle is a stage in, uh, or Ganon's tower, whichever one, I don't really care which, is a stage in Smash Ultimate. I doubt it will be, but it's honestly kind of weird that Ganon's not had his own home turf since he was first added into the game. But like, you know, he's got his ocarina design back and he looks more powerful than ever, and he's finally got swords in his Smash attacks now. So, you know, it would be nice. If he got his own stage too. Just hearing Ganon's steam on Ganon's tower or something, yeah, that that would be pretty cool. Like if you agree. That, that, that was sarcasm, don't actually do that. I mean, like the video, but... You know what I mean, fuck it, I forget I said that. Uh, myself and Captain Falcon, let's get it. Oh, and it's Dark Link, too. Wow, that feels almost intentional, even though I'm sure it wasn't. Oh, I don't want to be under there. I don't want to be under there. They can kill me quite easily if I'm under there. I want them to be under there. How did he not... There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Get out. Dead. Okay. I'm probably going to need a heart now. Let's see. Fox and Mewtwo? Yeah, it's about that time. I'm not going up against Fox of over 100%. I don't care if I'm on easy. Hell no. Wait, I could just up tilt him? Oh my god, that's stupid. I mean, stupid in a good way for me, but still stupid. The competitive Link players do that, I wonder. I've never seen a, a Link in Melee. I've seen Young Link, though n uh, granted not much. I think I've only ever seen Armada's Young Link, I, I think about it, and I don't even really remember what he does besides pull bombs out, but... I wonder. Can people break out of that up tilt combo or not? And why do I fight Pichu on Foresight? Is this supposed to be like Goldenrod City or something? Is that what's going on here? I don't get it. Damn, now I kind of want to play Gold and Silver. He gave for you. 
His melee voice lines are so weird, yet so charming at the same time. Come on, get out. There we go. Cool. Who is next? Marth, Kirby, and Yoshi. This shouldn't be so bad with the percent I'm at. But I think I've got en enough coins for a continue even if I do lose. Which I shouldn't. Because I'm on easy. And I hardly had any damage, but... Oh, whoa. That was weird. I, f I fell doing the grounded spin attack and he kept doing it. I've never seen that before, but that looked pretty cool, actually. It's like the 64 one, but not the 64 one. Well, I don't know how it came back to me, but I'll take it. I guess Link's up smash in this game only really connects the several hits together if, uh, like, you send them up onto a platform. I've, I mean, I don't really have to keep that in mind. It, it'd be good to remember for young Link, I guess, maybe. Probably not, but... Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Wait, how did I get to like 200% with Donkey Kong and not die, yet she was at like 130 and she'd lived? What, was I like a lot lower on the stage when the acid hit me or something? I don't exactly remember. Ready, is this like the credits for Super Mario World or something? I don't remember. I think it is. I don't remember what this song's supposed to be. Actually, fun fact, when I first played through Mario World, I was stuck on the Bowser fight for months. I just couldn't beat it. So there you go. I could probably beat it quite easily now. Well, maybe not easily, but I could probably beat it simply enough. But back in the day, I just couldn't beat Bowser for the life of me. I did eventually, but I struggled so much after months of non-stop playing the game. Speaking of months of non-stop playing the game, there, I have a similar story with Explorers of Sky. I was trying to get Darkrai, but you have to be a certain level with the friend bow in order to... What? Well, no, you know. Uh, hang on. I had the friend bow, but I didn't realize there was a level requirement for also finding Pokemon that were like, you know, had a certain uh, recruitment rating, because it was a pretty low chance of recruiting him without the friend bow being a certain level. But I actually couldn't get him at all because I was too low level to get him. So I was just trying to get Darkrai for months thinking the Frembo was all I needed to really get him. But I wasn't actually high enough level. So I just kept resetting my game for months. Including while I was watching a film in the cinema at one point. And all that time I didn't even know I couldn't get him. It sucked when I found out. I felt so bad and stupid when I finally like looked that up and realized what I was doing wrong. To this day, I still don't think I even got him in the end, because I'm pretty sure I was doing... I don't remember if that was on time or Sky, actually. I think it may have been on time I was doing it. Yeah, it was on time. And I don't think... I don't remember if I ever got him. I might have, I might have not. I, I don't know. I don't really care either, to be honest. But it doesn't really matter to me at this point, since I have the Explorers of Sky. But yeah, that kind of sucked. I just waste months on games not knowing how to do things or being unable to beat things. Or I did. I try not to do that anymore. I normally look it up after a few hours because I get bored of trying to figure it out. But back in the day, I wasted so much time. Good lord. Anyway, we've done Classic, we've done Adventure, and we've done All-Star with Link. I'm actually surprised I didn't get a game over on All-Star considering that I was barely even focusing on it, to be honest. But... Whatever, we're done with it now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like rating to show your support for the series. Be sure to leave a comment answering the question of the day, which is what is your favorite design for Zelda in Super Smash Bros. Be sure to check the description for links to my Discord server, my Twitter page, and to Maximum Effort G915's channel. And be sure to subscribe to get more of this, as well as other Let's Play content, reactions, discussions, all that stuff. With that all said and done, I shall see you guys in the next video. Until then.